Hey everyone, Andrea here from Paxton, Illinois. You can also call me hashtag Andy Girl. It's totally melted. <laughs> I'll give it a minute to see if anyone jumps on here. We do have end product to show you, so in case those of you who are curious who always want to see the end. All right. I know a lot of you are probably busy on this Saturday night, but we are having a little bit of a different dinner for once. This is actually the first time we've tried it, so this is a little bit more fun for the kiddos. Um, it is low carb. I guess you wouldn't consider it keto depending on which hot dogs you choose, but always choose 100% beef and watch for hidden ingredients that, such as dextrose or sugar, but we got these from the store uptown. They make them fresh every day, so they're 100% beef, and we do have some to show you the end result, so if you want to try it every once in a while, that's totally fine. It's still low carb. It's going to be three net carbs for the batter we're making for the pigs in a blanket. So if you guys are joining me live, drop a one below, and if you are watching the replay, drop a two. And please, please go to the comments and hit share and comment share after you have. So I can thank you. How is everyone doing today on this Saturday? Has anyone tried this recipe before? Curious. All right, we're gonna start with one and three fourths cup of almond flour. I'm almost out of this almond flour. And if you guys are just joining in, share, share, share. So uh, even if you're not keto, this is a neat recipe to try with the kids. I'm gonna need that other almond flour. I'm almost out of this bag. That was one cup. All right. We're just gonna mix the dry ingredients together and set them aside. And then we will melt our cheeses in the microwave. I've made these and they're amazing. Awesome. They look pretty good. I'm excited. I don't think I've had pigs in a blanket since I was a kid, honestly. <laughs> Does it taste really good? I haven't tried it yet. They're they're baking right now. So we will see. It's a little bit too much. Alright. And then one tablespoon of baking powder. You're always a skeptic. Well, trial and error. That's all we can do. I venture out and try new recipes for all you guys. <laughs> and because, you know, the same old things get boring, so it's nice to try things. Okay, so in a separate bowl, we will do two and a half cups of mozzarella and two ounces of cream cheese. So I have one cup here and a half and I shredded this beforehand. Oh, that was perfect. I didn't even measure that. How is everyone doing today? You guys are awfully quiet. All right, two ounces of cream cheese. And then we're going to melt it in the microwave for two minutes, um, stirring halfway through. And you'll have to microwave it more if it's not hot enough. All right. Follow me. Maybe. I All right. One minute. Do you guys have any questions for me while we're waiting for that to melt? Just gonna hit 
hit wave to everybody who's joining me. And if you are just joining in, I am making low carb pigs in a blanket and the it's three net carbs if you get six of them, which we actually got seven, so not too bad. And if you're gonna dip them in ketchup, you're gonna need sugar-free ketchup. Uh, maybe you could top it with cheese if you want, put cheese in between, that would be probably good. Welcome Denise from Oklahoma. How's the treadmill? I'm gonna actually use it tomorrow. I've been so swamped at work that I'm just dead. I've been walking through the snow and that's been my workout. <laughs> So, stir this up. This is almost like pizza crust. The same way you make pizza crust. And we also made some zucchini fries to go on the side. So I will show you that as well. any questions for me while we're waiting for the cheese to melt and then I will uh, show you how to make these hot dogs pigs in a blanket can you open that other package the hot dogs oh yeah. <laughs> I have a little helper hi Katrina And you guys can, oh, this is out of focus, um, check all of my live videos on YouTube and subscribe to me there. And also check out my keto photo album if you're new. I have tons of pictures in there of foods I've tried. All right, let's move on back over here. All right, so it's super hot. Mix that real good. And then we're gonna add the almond flour and then we're gonna put two eggs in. I need two slices of parchment paper, like big squares. So we're adding the almond flour mixture. And you might have to microwave this again because it's gonna get cooled down by the eggs and the almond flour. Guess we're gonna have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> I've been wanting to do doubles of everything to show you guys the end results because I know everyone's usually curious about that. All right, two eggs. And it's a little sticky, but um, if you lay parchment paper down and then have parchment paper on top when you roll it, it keeps it from sticking. Hi Juliana, hi Megan. So if you guys need um, help with grocery lists or anything like that, drop the word lists or grocery below and I will get that for you. Yep, okay. We're gonna have to microwave this a little more. Whew. It is getting warm in here with the oven going. These fries look good. Did you try one? I'm going to. How long did you put this little bit of I don't know. I just did a little bit at a time. Alright, where's my spoon? That should be good. Yeah, that's good. If you guys are just joining in, we are making 
Hi, Darlene. Thank you so much for the share. We're making low-carb pigs in a blanket. If you get six bla uh, pigs in a blanket, it's three net carbs. So we're going to lay parchment paper down. <laughs> That's not very wide. <laughs> okay. No wider one? Nope. And of course, I did wash my hands like a bunch of times. So, and you guys aren't eating my food, right? <laughs> Thank you for the share, Juliana. I'm just going to knead this a little bit and then I'm going to use parchment paper on top and roll it. Actually, we're going to just grab like roll into six balls to make six hot dogs. And we got seven before. We might be able to make eight. And then that'd be even less carbs. Okay. I don't even know. Where to start and get the hot dogs ready. All right. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Hoping the phone doesn't fall over. That might be too big. And you always can just redo it if it ends up not being right. Can you guys see? I really need a stand. We're just gonna roll it. It might be too thin. I need another piece of parchment paper to put these on. And it'll be like this. It's over there, babe. Take another bunch and do it again. Maybe not make it too thin because then it's not going to roll right. Well, I need it over here, babe. I need to put these on it. All right, hot dog. <laughs> and then if you guys are just joining in to make these, it's just one and three fourths cup of almond flour. Let me use this to roll it. This is getting soggy. And one tablespoon of baking powder. And then two and a half cups of mozzarella and two ounces of cream cheese, microwaved and melted. Then you mix the two together and add two eggs. Yeah, this is basically fat head dough. I'm not sure, oops, I forgot. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's exactly the same recipe. It's got two eggs, baking powder, But it comes out to three net carbs each. Okay, pick up that and put it over here. And then. The paper? Yeah, just the paper. 100% beef hot dogs. I got them from the local store uptown. They make fresh meat, um, hot dog sausages. They have T bone steaks. Like everything's fresh from the farm. Some who, um, if you're really strict, obviously you probably won't use hot dogs, but for like lazy keto, how many is that? One, two, three. I don't know if I got six this time. <laughs> then you probably won't do it. Get your hands wet. All right, I'll get my hands wet. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Mm 
They look really good done. And then we just brush butter on top before we put them in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 14 minutes. How many is that for? Oh, okay, I do that six this time. Cool. I really need a bigger kitchen, you guys. Can anyone relate? <laughs> put the other zucchinis in. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, throw that out. <laughs> oh. And then I'll wash my hands and show you the before picture and the after picture. You just wash my hands. Do you guys have any questions on anything? Thank you, Christy, for the share. No questions, no questions, huh? You guys ready for this? Show you my zucchini fries, too. Alright. So here is the before. And here's the after. Don't those look really good? I'm excited to eat them. Only three net carbs for that. Heck yeah, I'll take it. And then we got zucchini fries that I made also. So pretty awesome dinner, um, especially for kids. They're, they love hot dogs and fries, right? So, and my kids like zucchini. There you go. Thank you guys for watching today. And I will see you tomorrow. Continue to share, please. And add me on Facebook if you're new. And I will catch you tomorrow. Bye.